You all right? Yeah. Kevin, okay, I had asked Roy about um, kind of leadership on this team, and he said it's kind of been a group effort. Yeah. Uh, for the majority of your career, Mark has kind of filled that role as a single person. Mm -hmm. Is there a big difference in going from like a one-person type leader to a, a group approach? Uh, I would definitely say Marcus was more outspoken. Um, like you said, it's more of a team thing now. Uh, nobody really stands out because all of us um, vocally are outspoken, I think. Um, Justin has came on this show the last couple of years, and Joe, Theo, me, and Nate have always been um, kind of the more outgoing teammates on the team. And, um, I just think when you pull all that together, you, you lose a guy like Marcus. Um, you have no choice but to come together and try to form something um, at least close to what you did. Was there any points maybe early in the season when you'd expect a guy like Marcus to step up and talk and nobody did it and say so there's a learning curve there? Was that, was that ever an issue? Uh, I don't think so. Like I said before, I think um, we all understand um, when it's time to get on each other and when to get on each other and who to get on more than others. So I don't think it's just all a part of uh, being together over these last couple of years and um, knowing your teammates, I think that's the most important thing. And I think uh, once, we, once we realize that, um, everything else falls into place. When you have two road games in three days like you have coming up, for you personally, um, is it hard to not think about the fact that you got these two game road games in three days or are you at the point in your career where it's just next game up and, and that's the only focus. Oh yeah, I'm definitely at the point where I'm like the next game's up. And, uh, that's how you got to think about it. I try to tell Tony and those guys that I'm thinking about it the same way just because when you think too far ahead and you lose games like Georgia Tech and uh, Miami and those type of games and those are the type of games that right now in the season where we don't need to be losing. And uh, I think we did a tremendous job of staying focused here lately and really buying into it. Um, having the best defense game we can possibly, and I think the last two games we definitely bought in in the show. As difficult as the next couple of days are going to be, does it help you when you get to the NCAA tournament and you're going to be playing two games in three days? Does it help to pre prepare you for that? I think so. Um, like I said before, for the guys that's been here, it's, it's really I think it's a piece of cake for us just because of um, where we've been before and um, the opportunities we had before and experience. So um, I think the hardest thing would definitely be for the young guys. But I mean, it's no different from really like AAU, I guess you could say, um, when you play three games in one day, maybe, and those have it. In the past couple of years, this was a point in the year when things didn't go as well for you. What's different about this year for you? Is it just your health or better mental state, or how do you characterize kind of what's been behind your consistency? Um, definitely be injury free. I think that was really one of the only things that was holding me back and uh, for me to be um, in a great position physically. Um, I think it's something I've really been focusing on because um, I know the past seasons has kind of been up and down for me towards the end, and I just really wanted to focus on um, maintaining the same weight and um, eating the right foods and doing whatever I can to help us win. What goes into all of that? Like making sure that you're you're staying healthy. If you just describe your, your process behind. I just keep reminding myself. I know um, my championship game performance wasn't good at all. I know if. If we're blessed and lucky enough to make it right there, it won't be that result. I'm just because of um, my part of, I feel like I've worked on my body and um, just trying to be the best teammate I can off the court, especially. With that being said, Roy said that you guys are really just focused on the regular season right now. Within the team and yourself, how often do you think about March at this point in time? I don't think you can think about it at all. I mean, you still got a job to do. You still have a, um, games to finish out, and we want to be regular season champions. And uh, that's our main goal right now. I think we're in a great position to do so. We just got to um, definitely focus on Pittsburgh, and, and that's our main focus right now. That having been said, Joel said after the game that he constantly thinks of those last four seconds in Houston. How much of a motivator is that, or is it something that really doesn't even need to be to be talked about? Um, definitely, I don't think you need to talk about it, but you, like Joel said, he always keeps it in the back of his mind, and I think that's for all of us who are here for that um, game, and um, like I said before, it's a, not a good time for us, but I think we learned a lot, and I think um, we definitely, um, if we were in that position again, things would be a lot different, I think, um, from the way we started the game, and um, some of the fouls we committed that we didn't need to commit, and um, some of the bad shots we shot that could have put us in a different position at the end of the game, so I think. Uh, we put all that, that into account. Um, 
we have a different result. And I think uh, these, the guys this year, we definitely focus on that a lot. Thanks. 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 Bob. Nah, it's high scoring. <laughs> 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 I just can't. Sense the, the slower pace or the ball's not falling in the basket or. Um, I just I think that's uh, from the other team's perspective. I think that their goal is to try to slow us down because um, of course you want to play a fast paced game. But I think uh, when we're doing a great job of sharing the ball, we're doing a great job of running the floor and attacking. Uh, the opposing teams, I think it's hard to do, but um, like some games like Virginia, when that's just the way they play, there's nothing you really can do about that when they um, have the ball in their hands for the entire 30 seconds. So you got to defend that and you got to prepare for that. I think um, these last couple games have definitely have been in situations in practice where we want to um, simulate what the other team would do, and I think we did a tremendous job of doing that. So when you don't have 80 or 90 points, that doesn't phase you at all? No. As long as we win, that's all that matters. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>